Want to turn any image to instant metadata like magic? Stick around, today you will learn exactly how to build this with React, Node.js and OpenAI. Today's demo project is going to be an absolute game changer. Imagine running an online store and your products uh, get automatically labeled and optimized for SEO just by uploading images. Or maybe you're building a social media app and you want to instantly generate alt text for accessibility. You can even use it in uh, content management systems automating tagging to save hundreds of hours. All these scenarios are possible. So today we will build something like that using React, a tiny node uh, backend and incredible OpenAI API. So ready to build something awesome? Let's dive right in. That will be the structure of an application. So for that we will need small React app and small node app uh, so it's going to be very simple setup in react app we will need to build two components one for image input where we are going to upload our image and also we will need to build a metadata output component where we will output the text which is going to be returned from open ai api and besides that too, we will build custom hook, which is going to be responsible for image analysis. So all logic uh, related to image analysis uh, will be stored in that hook. So it will help us with the future scalability and maintainability of that code. React app will interact with the node app through API endpoint. And under the hood of this endpoint, it will call OpenAI API, uh, which will analyze our image and return us the text with explanation of this image. And here is how the app will look like. So as you see, pretty simple with a pretty simple styling. So here we will have a image Dropbox where we're gonna upload the image and down below we'll have container which will um, output the text uh, returned from OpenAI API. I have already prepared an app, so let's take a look at the setup. So as I mentioned before, we have two components, image upload and metadata card, and also we have custom hook, which I called use vision. So first let's take a look at the image upload component. So what we are doing here, uh, first of all, we will need to install that React drop zone library to use that hook use drop zones. So that will allow us to drag and drop files to our input. After that, we define props for image upload components. So here we will have on analyze callback, which is gonna process a base 64 data. And also we have uh, loading state and error state. Now let's take a look inside of image upload component and the first uh, thing we see it's a uh, use state and it will be helpful for us to show the image preview. After that we have on drop callback which comes from use drop zone hook over here. And from this use drop zone hook, uh, we also use get root props and get input props. This we need to pass to the div and to the input. So to get that drag and drop functionality. And over here we have some conditional rendering. So in case if image is set, we will render that image element and we will pass as a source that uh, image URL, which is gonna be stored in that state. After that, we also have conditional rendering for the loading state. So once uh, it's loading, we will show analyzing. And in case of error, we will output that error. Now let's jump into on drop uh, callback and take a look what's happening here. So the first thing we are doing, uh, we are getting the file from uploaded file. So we get the first file. Then we need to initialize reader. For that, we call new file reader. This is a native API. And then we call reader read as data URL and we pass that file. Then we have that reader on load callback, which gets triggered once the file is loaded. And inside that reader on load, we assign data URL and we get in that data URL from reader result. After that, we get this data URL, so we are ready to set it to preview, so we can preview the image. And the last step, we get that base64 encoded data and pass to our on analyze callback. And that's all for image upload component. Now let's go to metadata card. And here we pass as a prop just a text and we render it here, that's it. Okay, so what about uh, use vision custom hook? Uh, here we will store three states for the response loading and error. And also we'll have a function analyze image, uh, which receives base64 data. In that function, we're gonna trigger a call to our backend requesting for the image description. And we return from the custom hook analyze image response 
loading and error. And finally, let's take a look at the app components. Here in the beginning, we need to import that use vision custom hook. And then in the markup, we importing image upload and we pass that analyze image to on analyze callback. And also we pass that loading state and error state. And after that, we have conditional rendering. So in case if we got a response, we will render a metadata card and we will pass this response as a text. And basically that's it for the setup for the React app. And now we need to create our backend, which is gonna interact with OpenAI API. Before the implementation of backend, let's go to OpenAI documentation. And here we need to go to libraries section. And here they exactly explain how to connect OpenAI to your app. Very important thing that we need to import our API key. And then here is the example of implementation. So our implementation will look very similar to this one. To be able to get this key, you need to have an account uh, with OpenAI. And then you need to click at the dashboard. And there is the section API keys. So you need to go here. And as you see, I have already created my uh, key for AI image upload demo app. So to create another one, you need to press here, create new secret key, and then you specify some uh, data here, and then you press create secret key. And then you will get a model with this key. You just can copy it and paste it to your app. Getting back to the code. Uh, so now we need to create that backend. Uh, for that, I created another folder and called it BE, which means backend. Let's open it. So in that folder, you need to run npm init to initialize package. And then we will need to install some dependencies, which is going to be body parser, course, dot env, uh, express, helmet, and open AI, of course. So now let's take a look at the index.js. This is going to be the entry point of the app. So we import these dependencies and also we import that vision roots from here. We will take a look at that a bit later. Then we initialize our app calling express. Uh, here we specify default port and then we have such configuration. So we use course, uh, we use helmet. And here we use body parser JSON and we specify here 10 megabyte limit. So this is for demo purposes to be able to upload uh, large um, images. So here we also specify limit 10 megabytes and say extended false. Uh, this configuration will allow us to drop uh, large size images. Uh, then we create a root, uh, which is going to be API, and then uh, it's going to be vision root. Here we call app listen, so it's actually the startup of the app, and we put it in console some message that our server is running on some specific port. Now let's go to vision roots and here actually the all magic happens. So here we use that OpenAI library and here we initialize that OpenAI client. So once we get post request from our React app on that root vision, then we perform a next thing. So first we get that base 64 data and then we call that OpenAI client responses create and we creating a prompt to a GPT 4.1 mini model. So here is the input of that prompt. So we say that the role is going to be user and the content is the next. First, we specify input text and we say what is in that image. After that, we specify input image and we pass that image URL. So then we respond back to our React app, to the client uh, with the response output text. And in case if some error happened, we reply with 500 error status code. Now we need to get back to our custom hook in React app. And here we need to add this logic to analyze image function. The first thing here, we set loading um, state to true and then we fire post request to our backend on port 8000. And here we pass uh, the data through the endpoint. Then once uh, that's processed, we get that data from response JSON and we set that data to this response state. And in case of the error, we set error. And finally, if everything is successful, we set loading state to false. 
And the important thing, don't forget to create that .env file and uh, store a key for OpenAI. And then we need to run our backend. For that, uh, we need to open terminal and run this command, node index.js. Perfect. So it says that server app is running on port 8000. Great, so now we are ready to test our app. Okay, so here is the app. I opened the network tab just to see what is the response uh, will be for the, our request. So here is the image of the car. So let's try drag and drop it to this area. Okay, we see that it is analyzing and we have request triggered here. So let's wait a bit. Perfect, so we have the response from OpenAI. So when it says that it is uh, the image which shows a white Ford SUV, which is correct. And let's take a look at the response here. So here is the text response from OpenAI. Great, so all works. And as you see, the setup was pretty simple. Congrats, your AI powered image upload is running smoothly. Ready for the next challenge? Consider adding multi-image uploads, uh, saving data to database or securing uploads with authentication. If this video was helpful, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments how you are going to use that AI powered image upload. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.